Hey guys and welcome back. I know you're all pros in set expressions, but did you know that you could actually use calculated values in set expressions to derive your data set? That is, if you don't know, you could actually use measures like sum, count, or whatever in your set expressions and then make calculations based on the values that the measures actually give out. It's actually super cool. Let's look into it. If you want to get into the basics, well, check out the link in the description below where you go from being a complete noob in set expressions to being a super pro. Let's have a look here. I have five countries where the sales are actually more than 800,000. Let's say that I only wanted to calculate this and I don't know which countries they are. So you know that in set expressions, you could say country is equal to United States, France, till Canada and just bring out those values so that I have a graph where it only shows me these five, right? But what you could also do is you could tell, click, hey, show me the values of those countries and find out the sum of sales for them only for those countries which have sales over than 800,000. How do you do that? Let's write a super simple set expression here. So I'm going to go into my measure. Um, this is just sum of sales, right? So I'm going to go in and here, let's write the set expression. Are you excited? Well, if you've been practicing a lot of set expression using my course, well, you would be excited. But let's have a look how to do that. Open and close for our brackets. We have our angled brackets here and you could use any measure. I'm just going to use sales amount to um, demonstrate this right here. Sum of sales where country is equal to. I only want countries where the sales are greater than 800,000. How do you do? a search inside a set expression ding 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 right you have to use a double quote right so inside this i'm gonna say where my is whatever value that i want so in this case i want greater than equal to and i'm gonna say 800,000. great so what is exactly happening here i'm actually i don't even know what i want but i'm saying that i want the sum of sales to be calculated all right, but only for those countries where the sum of sales are greater than this. It could change every time. And this is a dynamic set expression where it calculates the sum of sales and says, oh, if it is greater, then I want this country to be included in my measure. And then I'm going to say apply. And now I've automatically brought it down to the countries that I'm actually interested in looking at. The options are endless. Go crazy with it. I hope this is really helpful. Uh, it's helped me out a lot. And um, I thought it would help you too. So. Have fun. Please check out the links in the description below. Leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.